In preparation for the 2023 presidential election, we are getting a report that Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the presidential candidate of the APC, is currently meeting with Governor of River State, Yeso Mwike, and Sheyi Makinde, as well as Governor Autumn, in far away London. And what might be the focus of this meeting? What's the agenda in this one? Is it true that Mwike has to fly all the way to London to meet with uh, Tinubu? Then something is smelling. If he went with Autumn and Makinde, something is cooking. Because these are stalwarts of PDP. And the Tinubu himself is the presidential candidate of um, a different party, the APC. Speculations have been rife, and if, if this is really true, then this is something to take very, very serious because something is about to give, something is about to happen. Before we tell you all the details of this, we give you a gentle reminder, please, to like this video give, by giving us a thumbs up. So YouTube, we just share it to more people, recommend it for more people to watch. Share it yourself among your friends, contacts, and family. And if you are coming across this our channel for the first time, we urge you to please kindly subscribe because we bring compelling content and deep analysis of the issues following it. For our returning subscribers, we are happy to see you back and we do really appreciate you. So the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Asiwaju Bola Tinubu, is meeting with Governor Yesu Week of River State in London. This came from a source which was privy to the meeting that confirmed this information that Tinubu is actually meeting week alongside Governor Samuel Autumn of Benue State and Governor Shei Makinde of Oyo State. The governors on the platform of the PDP, that's the People's Democratic Party, it was learned left Nigeria to meet with Tinubu on Monday night. Autumn and Makinde have been close allies of Mwike. They have been his friends supporting him and hobnobbing with him because they are all from, all from the PDP. Although details of the meeting they are yet to be ascertained, it may not be unconnected with potential alliance of Mwike to cede support to for Tinubu in the 2023 presidential election. Mwike has been widely uh, speculated to leave the PDP following his uh, fallout with um, and issues with Atiku Abubakar, who defeated uh, him to clinch the PDP presidential ticket in May at that uh, PDP convention in Abuja. Since Wike lost the PDP presidential primary to Atiku, he has been heaping jibes and jeers to Atiku and other top-ranking members of the party. Though it was widely reported in some online media that the meeting held in France, but we gather from another news source that the event actually happened in London. And Mwike is not only that he lost the presidential ticket. After that, Atiku, having won the presidential ticket of the party, was to nominate a vice presidential candidate to run with him. And the um, report was rife that, aha, this is time to pay Mwike back. That is going to be the man that will run with Atiku. Unfortunately, he also missed that one. And... A governor from uh, a neighboring Delta state, Ifan Yokowa, was given that ticket. And since then, we case anger or disappointment or frustration or uh, uh, loss, I mean, became very, very apparent, difficult. And he went into his shell. He didn't talk for quite some time, unlike Mwike, who is always... Uh, commenting on everything and suddenly or after a while he started to crawl out of his shell and started speaking again and he has had several meetings with uh, members of 
other parties apart from PDP, like the APC, like the even the Labour Party. He has invited um, important people from uh, APC to come and commission projects in River State, which is a PDP state, and many tongues have been working, wagging, and he has been having meetings and meetings with um, Article's team, trying to reconcile both sides. But now, if he left Nigeria and fly, flew all the way to London or France, as the case may be, to have a meeting with Bola Ahmed Tinubu, this will be the height of it. PDP will not be happy. And I think some of them are already um, coming up with the idea that uh, it's time to deal with Winke, either sack him from the party or suspend him or whatever. They are saying that he cannot hold the whole party to ransom. That is just a single individual and they can do without him. But some are also cautioning that for Atiku to win this presidential election, he might, he must need the services or the cooperation of Yeson Wike of River State. That's how important the man has become in a PDP. His camp has some conditions that they want Atiku's side to fulfill before they can come back and give him full support. One of them is that they want the chairman of the PDP, Yochayu, to be removed immediately and change with somebody from the south because they are contending that most important positions in PDP have been taken over by the North, and the North has uh, northernized the party. They are talking of the chairman of the Board of Trustees, which is a Northerner, the presidential candidate, Northerner, chairman of the party, Northerner, and many other important positions. Well, let us see, wait and see what will come out of this meeting whether Anwike will eventually dump PDP and go all the way with APC. Another second possibility is that Anwike might remain in PDP. He will not decamp, but underground he will be working in support of Bola Ahmed Tinubu to win the election or to offer the support of River State. The other option we don't know yet. But this too, we are sure, either he quits the party, joins APC fully, or he stays in PDP and work on the ground to um, help Tinubu. It could be also a game to really show how important he is and let Atiku listen and accept the conditions that he, Mwike, and his supporters have given the PDP. This is uh, the latest situation in this uh, developing uh, political situation and we say to you kindly please like this video by giving us a thumbs up this will make youtube to share it to many more people to watch it again share it yourself to your contacts families and well wishers and subscribe to our channel we'll see you in our next video